It has been four years since Android Auto was first announced on Google i Slash O, and the application was launched almost a year later. Since then, the platform has seen a very slow absorption by the general public. At first, Android Auto was beta at best with a lot of functionality, so it was more expensive to use it than not. In the last year, Google has made some important changes in Android Auto, which has improved the user experience, but has always missed one thing, something that was mentioned almost two years ago, Android Android Auto. Now he is here. Finally. Wireless Android Auto having to connect your phone to the central unit puts too many barriers in the way of running Android Auto. The quality of the USB cable and the connection at both ends has a great impact on whether Android Auto works or not. Another factor that influences your levels of frustration is the phone software. I'm not sure what Google has done, but Android Auto works incredibly well with any phone that runs a thin, skinless or lightweight version of Android. Try it out and use it with a phone with a very thin housing and there are likely to be problems. Both LG and Huawei phones are known for their compatibility with Android Auto. Hopefully, having a direct Wi-Fi connection to the main unit without any USB cable or USB software implementations to get in the way will result in a much more consistent connection and, therefore, inexperience. This is where Google should be. Android Auto needs to work with all Android phones. It would be a big step for Google if it works also with iPhones I used Apple CarPlay and it's a dog breakfast that does not require functionality and that complicates things too much Don not even start me in Apple Maps. Google's announcement, through the launch of several Android Auto wireless head units, that the wireless Android Auto was finally here is a big step for Android Auto and we hope it will bring many more users. We all know what many more users mean.